All right, hello everyone. This is the heroic challenge, the middle challenge, I believe. Yeah, the heroic challenge of Bandit Slayer. Gonna go ahead and start up. I'm gonna I'm gonna be changing um, the strategy up a little bit, just because this Dwarven Tower here didn't really do much in the last mission. So um, I really need more Dwarven Towers in better positions. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably put another Dwarven Tower here, here, and here, and then maybe put some other towers there. So uh, there's my general strategy. The idea behind this is that the soldiers will be able to trap the people um, for a very good amount of time. That's what you really want to do. You want to trap them. Oh, that, that's right. Let me upgrade these towers first. Um, you really want to be able to trap them and then let your let your um, dwarven towers really do their thing. Now, as always, get your king or whatever hero you are using into that battle early. The earlier he is in that battle, the more experience he will gain. And now... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so apparently things are not going well for me already. So this is this is looking rather dicey. All right, so where'd my king go? Oh, my king died already. Wow, I am not maintaining. Okay, don't do what I just did. Um, trying to cast and figure out and explain strategies all at the same time. A little bit harder than it looks. It's like walking and talking and chewing gum all at the same time. Yeah, some some smartphones can't even do that. All right, so let, we'll see what's going to be happening here. I'm not going to have any problems. I'll call in the wave early, and luckily I do benefit from the fact that I can call in waves early, at least on this particular map. Now, one of the issues that as a caster and someone who hasn't really played this level before is I don't know what's going to be happening, so I need to perhaps be a little bit more reactionary in terms of what I need. Now I see this very, very large wave of these guys here, so I obviously am gonna need some some higher mage towers in the front. You guys watching this can obviously upgrade those towers earlier if you need to. May, may make the level a little bit easier as well, as I'm just constantly clearing out these guys here. Now, let's go ahead and get down some of these peasants there, and now just continue to play out this level. All right, so now we got a large wave of the, the the smaller guys, and that's when you really need more upgrade on the Dwarven Towers. So the Dwarven Tower has very good splash, does a lot of damage, and that is why I have my Catapult Barrage there. Okay, keeping track. All right, it looks like Wolves will be coming down on the bottom, so go ahead and move that down there to react accordingly. And let's see, let's stutter step this guy back a little. And let's go ahead and call that wave in, get that there. And did I just start my own death? Um, if you guys are watching this, no, because obviously, why why would I give you a tutorial if I actually lost? That'd be like that'd be like, oh, I got rickrolled into watching a tutorial that walkthrough guide that doesn't actually work. And that, that'd, be, that'd be kind of silly, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade this as well. Now, uh, and you may decide to upgrade this to... Oh, yeah. Okay, so whenever you have um, guy, whenever you have one of these guys pop out a little bit too quickly, um, you can go ahead and upgrade. And as soon as you upgrade the towers, it automatically replenishes all the guys from the from the tower in that one location. So that's what I did there. If you were wondering, and oh, the top does definitely need that carpet bomb. So does the bottom. And as long as I have some good carpet bombing going, I should be able to handle at least these waves. The carpet bomb is once every 17 seconds. And, and you can see how much damage that just does right there. Just absolutely, absolutely devastating damage. All right. Now let's follow this up. What is going to be happening next? We have some marauders, raiders, brigands. All right. So still guys that are more magic immune than anything else. Go ahead and upgrade this to an anti-mage tower or an anti-armor tower. See, so you can see the great armor, low armor. You really want to get these armors down as quickly as possible but i know that raiders most likely will be coming in because they that was a unit that was introduced um earlier and any time that a unit is introduced um, in a in the normal campaign stage you normally will see it again so let's go ahead and call down fire right there great fireballs and take them all down now let's see what's going to be happening here uh do i need 
Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna prep a uh, marksman tower just because I think I'm gonna need one, even though it's not gonna be that useful in this level. Uh, this wave, it, it may be useful in the upcoming waves. Um, more of a preemptive strategy there so that if I need to, I can go ahead and utilize it. Now, removing some of that armor, there's some carpet bombing. Let's see. Oh, stutter step, stutter step, stutter step. Oh, you missed me. Oh, no, oh, gah! He hit me. All right, so stutter step. You may have seen me do that a little bit earlier in the previous in, in the previous um, stage. Definitely try it out. Um, it works out a little bit better if you're actually on top of on top of your micro, so to speak. Okay, so brigands. Okay, so there are pillagers coming into this wave. So now let's go ahead and um, start upgrading that one shot, one kill. So the, the reason why I got the Marksman Tower is because this pillager has high magic armor. And what you want to do is you want to, you need a damage that, come on, focus this guy here. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't want him to headshot that guy. I wanted him to headshot this guy. All right. Let's go ahead and get some more money early on. Um, that should be pretty easy of a wave to clear out. And now my golem is one on one a pillager. Is he going to win out? Yes, he is. Okay. So more guys will be a coming. Oh, there's a one. There's that headshot. That is always very, very nice. Except for I hit the wrong guy. Again. All right. Okay, put that guy there. Okay, that guy there. Let's see. Okay. Do I need to upgrade his armor? Yes, I do. There you go. Haha. -ha, back up to whole, full hit points. So anytime you can delay um, this pillager from coming in is always a good thing. I don't know if... Ah, dang it. I did it a little bit too late. Okay, if he's dead, he will not automatically come back out. He is not like that. He is not similar to the barracks towers in terms of that. All right, so both sides are just fighting it out now. And now let's see. It feels like I should really go into another mage tower here just so I can remove some of their earlier armor and then if i can remove their armor early then it then this marksman tower will also be a little bit more effective as well so here comes the fight let's bring the fight so another anti-mage tower there removing all the armor here and um, bandit wow oh, wait are they gonna come across the middle okay so i'm not sure but it looks like they could be coming across the middle which was what happens when you actually see three logos it means that they're each taking a different path um, from what I understand. So, there's the headshot there. Okay, let's get another golem there. And we may want another golem up top. So, it may be golems galore on this map. Uh, let's see. Golems galore? Yes, let's do let's go golems galore. Um, golems just all over the place. They like to stand, you know, take some damage. And you know, laugh back at the damage that they're taking. Hopefully I can beat this stage. Alright, let's... Okay, let's go ahead and fireball right there, right down the middle, so that they can't actually make it. All right. Oh, let's, let's heal him. Uh, upgrade that tower there. Okay, do I need the... Okay, let's get this golem up and running too. And now... Okay, okay. Oh, this guy can use the dragon launcher. Let's go ahead and get this here as well. A lot of things happening, a lot of things happening. Okay, do I need to upgrade him? Nope. Oh, yeah. Do I need to upgrade him? No, I can't upgrade him yet. Okay. So, do I need to upgrade him? Yes, I will need to upgrade him. Okay. Back over there. Do I need to upgrade him again? Oh, nope, I do not need to upgrade him. Sweet. Alright, so guys are still coming. I don't know how many guys are coming in this wave. I, I guess I could have wrote it down and been geeky like that, like know how many guys are coming i'm just I, I'm, I'm more playing it by feel oh yes i got another heal in so yeah healing your guys right as they're about to go down very very important if you can if you can get to that level as it really helps out okay. so i guess that's the problem with maximum life golems the maximum life golems like this guy i can't heal him Heal me. Heal me. No, I can't. I won't. Heal me. Heal me. Oh, oh, oh. I will just stutter step you. Haha. Uh -huh. It looks like you wanted to swing, but you couldn't swing. Alright. 
Okay, I think this should be it. Yep, so thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed the heroic version, the six-wave challenge version with only one life of Bandit's Lair.